This week, a video made the rounds showing ABC anchor Amy Robach complaining that her network held back her reporting about sexual predator Jeffrey Epstein. Her complaint raised the same concerns Ronan Farrow levied at NBC for not airing his story about Harvey Weinstein. Clearly, Amy Robach thought she was having a private off-air conversation when she made these comments about an interview she had with a woman who claimed Jeffrey Epstein held her as a sex slave for 12 years. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is a stupid story. Project Veritas, conservative activists who often target the media, was given the tape by someone who once worked for ABC. It was unbelievable what we had. Clinton, we had everything. Shortly after Epstein's suicide in August, NPR's David Folkenflik dove into why ABC never aired Robach's explosive interview. Shortly before the interview was due to air, Harvard Emeritus Law Professor Alan Dershowitz called the network. He was also one of Epstein's lead defense attorneys. It's similar to what happened after author and part-time NBC reporter Ronan Farrow got interviews with women saying they had been sexually assaulted by movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, a story NBC refused to air, so Farrow took it elsewhere. I walked into the door at the New Yorker with a, uh, an explosively reportable piece that should have been public earlier. NBC claims Farrow's story did not meet network standards. Farrow disagrees. ABC said the same thing about Amy Robach's Epstein story. But Robach now says she agrees with ABC's decision and that she was just venting on that tape. Hmm. Meanwhile, after ABC placed a courtesy call to CBS warning them the leaker was now working there, CBS fired the staffer. Wow. Yeah, they, that, that happened yeah, yeah, yesterday at some point, although apparently today she, the person who was fired is saying it wasn't her, so but they, they must have had the goods somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Any Robux sounded pretty certain about what she had. And, um, you know, the fact that ABC held it, she had the interview with that Virginia Roberts, Jeffrey, whatever her name is. She had a number of other things. It's, I mean, I believe that Alan Dershowitz and others had a role in this, don't you? Uh, well, certainly Dershowitz had a role in fighting aggressively on behalf of Jeffrey Epstein and also himself. Uh, you have a situation here. We're looking at all this being post-Harvey Weinstein. But pre all of this coming out, you've got... One of the, the richest people in the world, Jeffrey Epstein, uh, coming after you, and Alan Dershowitz, one of the most prominent lawyers uh -huh. in the country, coming after you. Uh, I can't necessarily blame ABC if they're saying, we're not sure we've got this quite nailed down yeah. to take those two on. That seems like the most important piece of this to me, and I think it's a detail that's been buried in some accounts. It was reported by David Falkenflik and I think the LA Times as well that initially Virginia Roberts Jeffrey's claims were part of the court record, which meant that they were reportable in a way that wouldn't open ABC up to legal risk. Then those records yeah. were sealed yes. and all of a sudden ABC didn't have the same luxury of just reporting on these allegations without worrying about whether they could substantiate them independently. So to me, you know, that is reason to think about cutting ABC some slack here. That being said, her claim uh, that, that uh, there was concern they wouldn't be able to report on the royals if they made Prince Andrew look bad, yeah. that I has the that. ring of truth to me. Totally so. true. Yeah. Um, it's a minor detail, but I'm struck by the fact that Amy Robach, I guess an experienced journalist, is spewing all oh, this stuff I on the set yeah. with the a mic. mic on. Hello. That's the first Anchorman thing. Anchorman 101. Yeah. You don't talk trash oh. when you're in the About studio. your bosses or anyone When else. you're anywhere near the mic, right, because yeah. that's what this will happen. Yeah. Now, look, I, I share the sentiment there that while, you know, we all want to see the truth come out, and we, we'd all like to think of media organizations as these valiant crusaders are tough and stand up to pressure, and they should. You know, when, when Dershowitz is on the phone, backed mm -hmm. up by hundreds of millions of dollars, oh boy, I don't blame the brass, as you guys are saying, for Take, wanting to take a deep breath and a second look. And make sure it's, it's, it's right. Um, yeah, and that's the, t the thing that got me was the, the Prince Andrew thing. I was like, okay, so this was really about making sure there was some access coming on later, and they, we didn't want to muddy the waters with all of this, and we had the pressure coming from. And I've, I don't, I'm sure all of us probably have. Have you been on the end when the lawyers are calling 
your boss because I've been there and it's it's a much different situation when you can say go right ahead we got it yeah. uh, then yeah. well you right. know I right. think we got it I mean you really you right. really have to you have to be very very confident and even with being in that confident position that doesn't stop anybody from coming after you still so that's can be very yeah, very important. uncomfortable you know what I yeah. think I'm interested yeah. in why why give it to Project Veritas? I mean, they're, they're, they like to go after CNN. They yeah. like to go after liberal organizations. And they were kind of like couching this in, oh, well, ABC didn't want to ruin their contacts with the Royals or with Jeffrey Epstein. But really, it, it made her look good, I thought. I mean, made Amy look good. Well, I think their point was the Clinton line that, yeah. you know, so far it, 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 it's in there. But people were so struck by many other things having to do with that conversation. And actually, I, uh, I'm, I'm curious, who is she talking to? Now, you all were talking about, doesn't she know she had the mic on? She was talking but, to a producer who was... Yeah. But that's so weird. She was in a yeah, promo yeah. booth, apparently, yeah. where they usually yeah. do TV promos. Mm -hmm. But you know what that's like now. Yeah. The, the feeds go out, and they're into right. a different, no, really different I, edit rooms. So all they got to do is hit, bang, record. Well, you yeah. know, the, the underlying implication here, both in the NBC case and now in this ABC case, is that, well, these uh, wealthy white male managers wanted to protect one of their own, yeah, Jeffrey that's Epstein. That's a pretty harsh charge. I'd like to see a lot more proof of that before I believe it. Although I would say in the case of Vanity Fair, I think the details that have come out there are pretty damning. Mm -hmm. More yeah. than more than with Fair ABC, enough. certainly, and, yeah. and uh, maybe even more than ABC. And all those guys still have their jobs. It had a and, lot more and, to do with fear than it did with and I protecting think what, their own. What, uh, what you just said earlier, remember, this is pre-Harvey Wines, so people are like, wait a minute, this is mind-blowing. What are right. you talking about? Right. You know, that was a lot to take in. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah.